No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by Limelight, makers of professional lighting for independent filmmakers. My Road Reel International Film Contest. Enter at myroadreel.com. Hey, we're here with Eric Kessler from, um, oh, what's the, what's the company Kessler name? Crane. What's, I, Kessler Crane. <laughs> Kessler Crane, of course. No, uh, and uh, we've got some new stuff to talk about here at NAB. Yeah, so our, our new product for this uh, show, I guess you'd say, is our new Unidrive 3-axis control system. Originally, we were going to do a 1-axis digital control for our parallax device, mostly just for looping. But we went ahead and took it a step further and made it a 3-axis digital control. So this is truly uh, closed loop. Uh, digital control, same as our CineDrive system, so you're going to have the same performance, smoothness, reliability, and repeatability as our uh, larger CineDrive system, but scale down, super easy to use, two keyframe, you just start point, end point on all three axes, it does live motion, time lapse, stop motion, has a built-in flashlight, built-in intervalometer, uh, $13.99 for a three axis system, $6.99 for the one axis system. Uh, which is ideal. And that's, and that's just the, the head, or is that? Uh, yeah, so the head would be, uh, you know, one axis is a slider motor, which is a three speed slider motor. So, unlike before, where you had to buy different motor gearings to fit different applications, this is one motor, you just change out the pulleys. It has a quick change pulley system on it. Uh, so, that saves the end user time and money there from renting to switch out, you know, motors. Um, and then, you know, with, so one axis would be just a slider motor, three axis would be including the pan and tilt head. All right, so the CineDrive. Uh, has this crazy controller also. You can see it behind us. Um, and Eric's going to tell us about the uh, remote controlled car. I mean, the. The controller, yeah, the joystick. <laughs> yeah, so obviously CineDrive is not new, but we keep building new things for it. So obviously we have a uh, whole new software for the show, 3.1, which has a lot of amazing features built into it. The other thing that our customers and users was requesting was an, an analog interface. So we have uh, this is three axis joystick, left, right, up, and down twist. Then we have a shift, which will give you three more axis control. Then we have our uh, focus and jog wheels, and these just magnetically click onto the cage. Uh, you can use these independently or in combination with the joystick. So it just gives you a lot of hands-on control over the system. So you set your lens limits, and then it, they'll light up yellow, and then you can set temporary limits in, inside of your main. So if, you know, you set focus one, go to your focus two, and now when you pull between those, it only limits your focus pull to you know hit your marks. Are, th are these things that you're selling uh, separately, or is it with? Yeah, these are all components. They're all modular components of CineDrive. All right, and here's the iPad app for the CineDrive. Yeah, so you can see here we have a full graphical display. Uh, these lines are our trajectories, and those dots are the keyframes where we record those particular points. So you can you can edit, you know, the move or the curve. That's the the damping quality coming into those points. You can move its uh, position by pushing and holding and using these bump buttons to move the position of those particular keyframes. You have full control over everything. It's position, how it moves, the runtime, time lapse, stop motion. Uh, we now just built in this uh, analog interface as well. So this could be your focus. You can do focus pulls this way and these are temporary limits. So this bar represents the full calibrated range. Let's say your first focus was there, your second focus stop was there, now it operates between the two of those. And if you want that to explode, you just hit the explode button. Now that range is this full range here. We have virtual joysticks. So these are two axis uh, virtual joysticks, pans and tilts. And then these two little icons in the corners, if you push and hold that, that activates the device's accelerometer. So now this can tilt and pan just by moving the iPad. OK, so uh, what does all this crazy gizmo stuff cost, and where can they get it? Uh, Unidrive um, for the one-axis system starts at $16, or $699, $699. has a three-axis system. It's $1399. Cinedrive uh, basically starts with the brain at about $1,000 and then built up to a system. This is five-axis, about $10,000. Uh, the common system that we sell is a three-axis system for about $6,000. Okay. And the iPad app is included it's when you get the, with, yes, with the Cine Drive. Yeah, and it also runs on uh, Windows and Mac as well. Okay. Uh, and what about the uh, remote and the follow yeah, focus the, eye? Sure. The remote is uh, right now uh, it's not released, but we think it's going to come in around seven ninety nine for the uh, the joystick module with the cage and the focus puller is going to be somewhere in the neighborhood of three to four hundred dollars each. And these. Uh, are magnetic to stick to the cage as well as any of our magnetic MagnaLink uh, devices on the CineDrive system. And where does one purchase these things? Uh, KesslerCrane.com. All right. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you.